In order to understand uh, my uh, World War II experience, I was 18 years old. I was drafted into a segregated army. Um, I had to wear the uniform of this country, but I had to do so uh, under segregated circumstances. I was put in a all-black unit. We were not permitted to have any contact with white soldiers. Uh, we ate, slept, worked, everything as a separate part of the United States Army. Um, it was also uh, in an atmosphere of real uh, virulent racism in our country at that time. And uh, as soldiers, we experienced that racism. And uh, that existed throughout the entire three years that I served uh, in the United States Army. And uh, I guess as a young 18-year-old kid from Cleveland, uh, I really rebelled against uh, that type of of, uh, of life and uh, uh, the segregation and racism that went along with it. And so I really would have to say my experience in the United States Army was not a very good experience. And, uh, but when I, when I came out of service, I think because of that experience, <clears throat> along with the fact that I had been privileged to meet many young black men such as myself who had been drafted into the service. And they came from all over the country. And uh, I found many of them who had had previous uh, college training when they came in service. And one of the things I enjoyed was being able to talk with them and debate them and to, to have intellectual uh, competition with them. And that experience made me realize uh, that I really wanted uh, to get more education. One of the things that had happened in the course of Carl and I being raised by uh, a mother who herself did not have education <clears throat> was that she constantly told us to get an education get something in your head so you don't have to work with your hands like I've worked with my hands all of my life. And her greatest dream was not that we'd go to college because she knew she couldn't send us to college, but she felt that if we could acquire that high school diploma, which she never had, that this represented progress for her family. And so her dream was that her two boys be able to acquire a high school diploma. 